Union Home Minister Amit Shah launched White Revolution 2.0 on 19th of September. It is aimed at revolutionizing India's dairy cooperative sector, creating jobs and empowering women farmers. Minister Shah emphasized that women are at the heart of the dairy sector with many already driving businesses worth 60,000 crore rupees in Gujarat alone. This new initiative will further empower women farmers while also addressing the nation's fight against malnutrition. Likewise, the government has set an ambitious target to increase milk procurement by dairy cooperative societies by 50% over the next five years. This will benefit dairy farmers across the country, especially in rural and uncovered areas. The initiative also includes setting up and strengthening 100,000 new and existing cooperative societies, including primary agriculture credit societies. These societies will be linked to milk routes and equipped with necessary infrastructure like automatic milk collection units, data processing milk collection units, and bulk milk coolers. The National Dairy Development Board will initially fund this program, providing 40,000 rupees per MPSCs to 1,000 cooperative societies with full budgetary support from the government. Shah further announced the nationwide expansion of the successful Cooperation Among Cooperatives initiative originally piloted in Gujarat. This program aims to further strengthen the cooperative sector by ensuring that funds stay within the cooperative banking system, allowing cooperative banks to lend more money at affordable rates. As part of White Revolution 2.0, Shah launched the nationwide distribution of Rupee Kisan credit cards for dairy farmers along with the installation of micro-ATMs at dairy cooperative societies. Dairy farmers will receive interest-free cash credit through Rupe Kisan credit cards. This move will essentially bring banking services to farmers at dairy cooperative societies, making financial transactions easier and more accessible. With this ambitious initiative, the government aims to modernize and revive the cooperative sector, which could potentially benefit around 130 million farmers across the country.